Hey boys and girls. Now this is the way it's, this project is actually gonna look like. So we're gonna be creating dragonfly out of the clothespins. But what we need to do first is we're gonna have to take off that little silver part that the clothes, holds the clothespins together. You're gonna remove that. And then we're gonna start gluing these together. I know it's gonna be kind of hard to take this out. Just be patient, take your time and just take them out and then you could throw them away. But what we're gonna do is to create the body and we're actually gonna put him not the, the way that it has it, if not both the opposite way in order to create that part of the body. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue that part together. And we're gonna do two of these for the body. So you're gonna go ahead and glue this. And once you have glued that one, you're gonna move on to the top one and you're gonna do the same thing Now this is how your body should be looking already. This is exactly how you're gonna do it. And we're gonna do the top one and then we're gonna glue them together. So as you see, I moved along and did one of the wings. One of the middle parts is actually gonna be exactly the way that I did the body. And then we're gonna have opposite ones to the opposite side. So you only have one, two, three on the top and the opposite. Then you have that middle that's gonna be like the body. Then on the opposite side, you have one, two, three, two, exactly the same, and the other opposite way. And as you notice, the bottom wing is exactly the same how you did the top wing. So this is the form that we're gonna follow. And we're gonna make sure that we continue to do this. And if you notice, the middle part is exactly the same, but just with less pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started by creating the same part that we actually did with the body, which is gonna be two of them glued together with the on the opposite directions. And then we're gonna glue it right there on the little arc crease that we have. as you see once you have finished this we're gonna actually put the glue right on the bottom of the pins and we're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds right in that arc and make sure it sticks because if you don't hold it for a couple of seconds it might come off so make sure that you're holding it for a couple of seconds give it the glue time to actually dry and then we'll move on to the next step So remember, for this one, we're actually gonna put the glue on the bottom and we're gonna put the glue on the back and we're gonna actually place it facing the opposite way, the arc facing the opposite way. So now when you get to the other side, you're gonna turn your pin around and you're gonna do that one also the opposite way. And that's how we're gonna continue to do this all the way up. So this one will be completed after you put this one piece on. And then you will have to move on to the top of the wing, which we're gonna have three on one side, the one in the middle that looks almost like the body, and then three facing the opposite side on the other side.
So this is what your dragonfly should look like now. So now it's time to actually get creative and get some colors into this because it just looks so pale right now. So let's go ahead and get that paint ready and let's go ahead and put some colors into this and make it more vibrant. What you think boys and girls? I actually think it's amazing. I mean, it was a little bit on the challenging side, but once you get the hang of it and you figure out how to put your pins, it is so quick and easy to do. But look at all the diamonds and everything. Yes, Miss Tasha likes to go overboard sometimes, but I actually think it brings it out. And since I usually put up my art, I decided to do a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.